continue the journey to talk to you about our refresh for the rest of our Z workstation line. Today is Valentine's Day. I don't know if you could all celebrate that around the world, but um, I hope you called up and ordered roses for your significant other because you're not with them right now. <laughs> and we appreciate you being here and uh, celebrating with us. And in fact, We've given you guys the opportunity, this press release, all of our information does not go live for another 15 minutes. So happy Valentine's Day to you. All of you guys have been tweeting and posting this morning. You have scooped all of your competitors who didn't show up at this fantastic event. How about that? So, very excited. Listen, I wanted to introduce a few uh, dignitaries in the crowd. Um, apart from folks who will be presenting today. Uh, Todd Gustafson is here. He's our uh, Vice President, General Manager of our sales force in the Americas for our workstation and thin plant products. So glad to have him here today. Kobe Alvaz, uh, our EMEA General Manager of our business as well. Uh, brought a uh, entourage, right, to folks from Europe. And uh, here helping manage our business in Europe as well. And Emily Solson, up there as well. She's our general manager for our business in Asia Pacific and Japan. So glad to have them here with us today. So today, everything is open to the public. We want you guys to talk all about the great new Z1 workstation. And in fact, you can take photos today, you can take videos, tweet, post, whatever to your heart's content. The hashtag for this event specifically is pound HPZ1, okay? So we are embarking on the next generation of Z workstations. I think uh, many of you have followed us for the past several years. As Jim uh, talked about this morning, we have a rich heritage of engineering and innovation at HP. And certainly the workstation business has uh, been on the forefront of that for personal systems group. Introducing our new Z workstations in 2009, uh, working very strategically. Our R&D folks uh, with that industrial design, many of you were at BMW Design Works with us when we uh, introduced that first product, and they helped uh, do a lot of the design language for that. And you see with the Z1, we've continued that heritage, uh, continuing on with the uh, gorgeous design of the product, taking a lot of the design language specifically of the Z workstation brushed aluminum side panels here. This actually looks like the side panel of the Z800 specifically, and that was uh, on purpose actually. So great new solution, again, driving the Z DNA with respect to the serviceability of the platform itself, the high reliability of professional components like Intel Xeon processors, ECC memory, professional graphics from NVIDIA, and you're going to learn all about that today in great detail. We've got these experience zones around the room. Um, that's not for this morning, but uh, part of our uh, session uh, after the breakouts. So kind of the cadence today, you're going to see obviously the press conference that we're driving today, product deep dive, uh, Jim Zafferan will come up and talk to us about the workstation business in general why it was important for us to continue innovating in a workstation category. And then Josh Peterson, my senior director of product development here, he is in, in marketing. He, he's going to talk a lot in detail about this product, so all the internals of the chassis, why it's important to keep customers for product design, video production, uh, and architectural design and the like. Okay? From there, uh, we're going to have lunch. And then we'll have a few key partners come up and join us on stage. Our friends from Autodesk and NVIDIA are going to give us a, a good deep dive on why this is important not only to their customers, but the value proposition of the NVIDIA Quadro solutions that we've chosen very specifically for this beautiful new workstation. Okay? And then we'll have uh, product breakouts this afternoon. We're going to go uh, really deep in a teardown of the chassis. And uh, we'll also have a panel discussion from our heads of R&D, and again, Josh Peterson, our um, marketing manager for the products, uh, talk a little bit more in detail of why the Z1 
And then NVIDIA is also going to talk to us a bit about, uh, again, the Quadro value par proposition for our customers in these segments. Okay? And then after that, you'll get to wander around. We're actually going to transform this room into uh, uh, more of a uh, cocktail pavilion. That's important. Right, Alex? Where are you? Okay. Good. So uh, you'll get to actually see the Z1 in action in many of the different experience areas through architectural design, um, graphics, uh, arts, and, and video production. Uh, from that perspective, and, and, and you actually get to participate in some of the, the video editing and, and audio editing things that we'll be doing on, on the experience center. So very exciting uh, to be with you guys here today. And even again, you know, it's through the customer insights that we really drive, you know, level of intimacy of all the key vertical segments in, in our, our portfolio of tricks here. So whether it be product design for um, aerospace, automotive design, um, any, any vehicles on the road today, obviously many of those aspects of those cars, buses, and trucks have been designed on HP workstations. And in fact, uh, uh, Jim and I were talking to the stage manager this morning at the uh, event at the Aria. Did you guys like that? Was that pretty cool? Yeah. We're talking to him and he said, you know what? I designed this whole stage production on an HP Z800. Cool. So they're all over the place, HP works to the customer. So again, based on the customer intimacy that we have, the customer insights that we, we see, we knew specifically that this is a, a, a great product to develop nothing like it in, in the industry today. We're bringing to you first uh, you guys are the first to see this in the whole wide world because uh, we kept it very much a secret uh, from that perspective. So uh, I hope you enjoy the day. And uh, it's, it's a action-packed day, obviously. And I'll be back up to talk to you a little bit more about the afternoon uh, through the lunch hour. And I hope you enjoy that. So with that, I would like to introduce my boss, my partner in crime, Mr. Jim Zafferana, our general manager and vice president of our business. Why don't you? Hello again, everybody. This is much more intimate. <laughs> right, that was a big stage, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, last August, uh, the company asked my organization to step up <coughs> and represent a broader portion of Hewlett Packard's business. That's called the Commercial Solutions Participation. That includes desktop workstations, mobile workstations, and HP's thin client offering. So that's what I have the responsibility to drive for HP. And the reason we put these things together is, is that they share these traits that you see on the slide. Right? We're leaders in every category, absolutely. But more importantly, these products exude Hewlett Packard innovation. Every one of these products typically goes into, as I said before, a mission-critical environment, an application-driven environment, where the performance must be there, the experience must be there, the quality of the experience must be there. Typically, the workstation user is a business owner, although there are a lot of people who are either startup companies or people who want a workstation at home that use our products as well. But the fact that we enterprise certify all of our offerings in the commercial systems business is critical. That means we have developed a great technical and a business ecosystem with the key partners, whether it be for thin pipes or desktop and mobile workstations. And finally, the thing I'm the most proud of is that I believe we at Hewlett Packard, whether it be my friends over here who run our business and drive our business with us in the regions, we have fostered a customer-driven culture from me all the way down to the first level engineer. It's critical, absolutely critical. And it's what's more important than listening to customers is acting and providing leadership based on the insights you have from them, from our technology partners like NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, and our solution partners like Autodesk. So when I say customer-driven culture, I mean we're a partner-driven culture, right? We're an end-user-driven customer uh, culture. We focus on vertical markets. 
And this is the portfolio. I think uh, I think I already described this. You know, leadership. You know, one of my one of my good buddies over here, Todd, always tells me people vote with their wallets. Right. So you can see that we have driven leadership through time. This is a ten-year picture of uh, ten years. Can you believe it? A ten-year picture of the market share change that we've created in the workstation industry. So from left to right, you see the desktop workstation market position. And I, and I start there because that's when Hewlett Packard acquired Compaq. And frankly, if you were playing a sport, we had a big issue. The score was 55 to 25. We had a 25% share, a 30% share gap versus the leader at that time. And you can see what we've done, right? That, that is not fake. And frankly, in 2009, when you see the crossover, that's when we introduced the Z workstations. Right? There's a difference. We're delivering on a value proposition across all of these vertical markets. It's not just a box. It's not just a transaction. It's not consumer grade. We're delivering a professional value chain to the market with our partners and our direct sales force. You can see the same thing in the middle. Mobile workstation market share, where HP has ascended to the lead. Guess what? This year we introduced a brand new industrial design of our mobile workstations that's rock solid and really screams. And the market has responded. In the thin client business, we are a leader. A little issue in Q4 of 11, but we'll get that back. And in fact, this year, we've got a tremendous number of uh, product announcements coming uh, through the year that will really bolster our product portfolio. So today and this week you're going to hear about our new designs powered by new Intel Core technology and you know with a mandate of delivering performance, innovation, and reliability. In fact, if you really want to know, uh, when we decided to go forward with the Z1 product program, uh, and, and you'll hear this in talking to the, to the guys and the gals here. We didn't really know if we should do it. We didn't really know if we knew how to do it. Because you've got to put real workstation technology into this form factor, right? No compromise. If you put PC technology, people would see through it. It'd just be another old one. So uh, we had a couple of meetings where I had to go up to the chalkboard with my team my management team and just lay down the criteria. The criteria was very clear, right? All one form factor. The essence of the Z workstation and no compromise workstation performance. Those three things, which may sound simple. Somebody stopped me in the hall on the way over here and, and uh, was an HP guy who runs our public sector business. And he said, Jim, you know, I got it. I had a peak of the Z1 a couple months ago. I just thought it was another all-in-one. But geez, when you guys opened that thing up and you popped it off, I couldn't believe it. Right? So that, that is the kind of reaction I hope we got from you. And I hope that you're going to see we'll, uh, we'll hit the market. So everyone in this room knows what a workstation is. And uh, frankly, the workstation market over the last 10 years has dramatically expanded. We've doubled our volume in the last five years at HP. We've been growing at a rate of two to three times the market 10 years in a row. It's truly a growth business. And if you look at the list of who uses an HP workstation, I decided to talk about this in terms of, you know, not an industry, but the people, right? Hollywood. Film, video, high-end animation. Not just in the US, in India. Down in New Zealand, uses HP workstations. The most demanding software developers in the world use HP workstations, whether it be the Microsofts of the world or the Googles of the world. They need very fast compile times because time is money. The world's medical imaging companies power their X-ray and CAT scan machines with HP workstations. We talk about mission critical. And in developing countries, you might not think about it this way, but the throughput, the speed with which you can get patients 
through a CAT scan will determine how many people get examined in a day because there's a backlog. So performance reliability provides life-saving imagery in emerging countries and developed countries around the world. And then certainly, the market is expanding. You're going to see healthcare solutions this week where doctors, radiologists are using the power of a workstation to uh, do research and look at their images. I believe over 60% of the world's financial traders use an HP Z workstation. Where every half a second could mean a million dollars. We used to talk about oil and gas, but frankly, the new energy market that includes geo-exploration, but now spans into wind turbines, are using HP workstations to develop, explore, find, and monetize the energy. HP workstations get pounded in a school environment, right? Some of us are a little older, it's been a little while since I've been in college, but you know, those things are being run 24 by 7 in digital media labs, for example. So the reliability of an HP workstation provides an ROI even in a school setting. You all know about planes, trains, automobiles, bicycles, skis, my favorite thing in the world, designed on HP workstations. In fact, I shouldn't even be here today. It snowed seven inches in Colorado last night. I should be skiing. But happy Valentine's Day, you me. The most sensitive government institutions, not just in the U.S., but around the world, use the power and performance of a workstation for everything you can imagine that they do for our safety. And the architects, the scientists of the world, are absolutely doing things they could never do before, combining not just CAD, but video fly-throughs to market their designs and the power of the workstation. And that's what's really cool about this business, is our friends from NVIDIA, are you guys here? They're out somewhere, they're drinking. <laughs> there you go. Our friends from NVIDIA, they work with our friends from Autodesk and us to optimize that experience for the professional user. So they get performance, quality, interactivity, frankly, great support when you design a workstation the right way. Okay. Oops, it went one too far. So, you know, if you look back through time, I showed you the market share charts. Frankly, before we launched the Z workstation, we spent a lot of time, as, a, as a, my old boss used to say, honing our business model, demanding of ourselves a way of running this business, making sure that we were the time to market partner with Intel and NVIDIA, that we were their best partner in fleshing out their designs, that we would have absolute cost leadership, that we developed a culture trade-offs of putting the right features with the right technology with the right architecture. We're fortunate to be part of PSG. Right? PSG ships something like 50 million PCs a year. So we leverage that cost infrastructure. Our workstations are built in the factories where our commercial desktop PCs are as well. These tremendous efficiencies of scale. That's the, the good part about being big. And, and frankly, we've designed an organization that boots up every day with repeatable processes to engage the market. And then, you know, honestly, the secret weapon is the guys and gals over here on the right. We have a value chain that extends from little Fort Collins, Colorado, to the far corners of the world to deliver not just a product, but a relationship everywhere. Now, when we did the Z, we redefined the workstation. Also, during the period of 2009-2010, as Jeff said on stage, we introduced the world's first globally available real small form factor workstation, the Z200 class of system. Many of you are fans of our green color displays, and I'm excited about what we're going to be doing in the future there. And then, frankly, the fact that we have a 14, 15, and 17 inch mobile workstation fits the needs of many customer segments. Uh, I had a chance a couple years ago to, uh, to go to my home hometown. I was born in Detroit, Michigan, and I visited one of the auto companies. And they were using our mobile, mobile workstations at their test tracks to capture data in real time in the desert of Arizona 
right? And so it had to be right. It had to perform. It had to be reliable. So our, our mobile workstations are actually designed to mill specs, military grade quality. And today, it's all about extending our Z workstation experience. Uh, you saw the, the all-in-one, the Z1. Uh, we're very, very proud of our professional uh, displays, the ZR series from HP. We have 20, 22, 24, now a 27 inch and a 30 inch display. I highly recommend a dual 27 inch configuration with a uh, suite. And then uh, there'll be more announcements here this week on uh, other parts of our portfolio. So, as, as we've all expressed, and, and uh, believe me, this is not uh, made up. We are very, very proud to share with you the Z1 workstation, the first 27-inch all-in-one workstation in the industry. I want to thank our partners at NVIDIA and Intel, who really collaborated with us to make sure we had the right professional technology in a package that we believe will drive an experience like the one. So, that's what I had to say today, and uh, I think with that, Jeff can come back up. Sure. Thank you very much. I look forward to spending more time with you guys tonight, today, this afternoon. Have a productive week, and let's rock to Z1. Thanks. Thank you, Jim. So, very exciting uh, growth, obviously, from HP with our workstation products. The uh, Z210 small form factor solution actually has definitely increased our total, total addressable market, specifically uh, getting into education, into other areas of, of public sector and product design uh, with that class of products. And that's something we could not have done without introducing that solution. That's why I'm so excited about the Z1 also extending our reach into areas that we just haven't been able to touch previously. So, um, big opportunities there. I'm, I'm very excited about that. And to tell us more about the details of the product, please welcome Josh Peterson. He's our Director of Product Marketing. So, my name is uh, Josh Peterson, and I uh, manage our uh, worldwide product marketing team for uh, both desktop and mobile workstations. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you all for uh, being here on uh, Valentine's Day. As was said earlier this morning on stage, love is in the air. Um, I think we're all madly in love with this product. It's been one of the most exciting products that I've uh, had the pleasure of working on uh, in my HP career. I wanted to start with a little bit of uh, uh, you know, what was set on stage this morning. Um, and, and that's uh, some of our innovation that we've done from a form factor standpoint. Um, as was said, you know, we've been in the workstation business for 30 years, and through those 30 years, most of our innovation focus has been on the desktop uh, form factor, that tower form factor. And you guys saw a demo this morning of, of how, how versatile and um, tool-free and serviceable the Z800 is compared to other alternatives that you see out in the marketplace. And again, all of that innovation came not just from our wonderful engineering team, it came from customer insights. We spend an amazing amount of time working closely with the customers to understand their needs and get an understanding of what they need to do. And that's led to a lot of the innovation that you see here uh, in our uh, workstations. And tomorrow you're going to see a little bit more about what we've got uh, in store for you for the 2012 um, workstation uh, tower lineup. Uh, other form factors, Jim talked about uh, the choice of, of 14, 15, 17 inch form factors. Uh, we've actually been shipping mobile workstations for almost a decade now. Um, back in the day, we, we realized that mobile technology was starting to become powerful enough to actually run uh, professional to class applications. And for the last 10 or so years, we've continued to innovate on the mobile form factor. We've got the broadest range in the industry with the 14-inch, uh, which is a uniquely portable uh, workstation. It's great for engineers who want to take that, um, you know, their work with them out in the field or, or on the production set um, uh, with the 14-inch form factor. 15-inch is our most popular model. Um, and then, of course, we've got the 17-inch fully featured. And so we continue to innovate on the on form factor, not just the size, but we've got things like dream color displays where you can get an IPS panel for color, color, excuse me, color critical accuracy uh, on our 15 or 17-inch. 
A 17 inch you can convert with three hard drives and RAID 5 configuration, something you can take with you into the field. Um, and we've even taken some of our tool free serviceability uh, innovations that you see on the Z8 and uh, our other Z Tower workstations, we've applied that to the mobile workstation. So, our new uh, current line of, of mobile workstations, we actually have the ability to flip it over, you remove a panel, and tool free, you have access to all the components that you need to service. And so, um, the innovation of serviceability goes up and down the line of our products. And of course, Jim talked about the mil specs or, um, reliability of our workstation. So, we continue to focus on innovative and mobile workstations. I'm really excited about our, our roadmap ahead for, uh, for those class of products. And of course, uh, the Z210 has got a lot of attention uh, today. Uh, this is a small form factor workstation, again, that was designed for the space uh, constrained environments that customers are uh, operating in today. Uh, what we found is we talked to customers, they needed something smaller. And what we found is some customers were even taking you know, normal PCs and putting professional graphics in their environment. But what they really wanted was the robustness and the reliability that comes from only workstation architecture. And so that's what we've delivered. And, and as Jeff said, it's been a tremendous uh, boost to our business. So we've really um, innovated with respect to form factors and we continue to do so. Uh, one of the things that we spend a lot of time, I mentioned, is, is we, we spend a lot of time with customers uh, on their site as well as at our site or uh, at industry events. And uh, one of the things that we've been seeing is workplaces continue to evolve. And um, unfortunately, they evolve to the place where you have less space to work in. And for professionals, you know, creative professionals, technical professionals, this can stifle creativity. This can um, hurt quality results. And so if you look at, you know, back in the day, people had huge mahogany desks, big offices with doors that actually closed. And so it really didn't matter how big the technology solution was. And, and oftentimes, the technology solution was, was large. Um, but this is actually a more common uh, environment that you guys are all familiar with. People are working in 4x4 four four cubicle areas, and there's lots of stuff. There's equipment, there's cables, there's papers, um, and, and, it's, and all of that clutter um, hampers productivity, hampers creativity, and it really impedes uh, the ability to deliver quality results. And so, of course, the small form factor, the Z210 small form factor, works well in this environment. It's great, um, but we felt like we could do better. And to be honest, this, uh, this work environment in some parts of the world would be considered an absolute luxury. And so uh, we felt like um, an all-in-one form factor could really uh, change the way people uh, work and operate. And so this morning we introduced the HP Z1 workstation. We introduced power without the tower. And like Jim said, he laid it out clearly. This is going to be a workstation. We're going we're to wrap up the performance, the reliability, it's going to be the tool that makes all those applications sing and sing well and, and reliably. And we're going to wrap it up in a sleek and elegant form factor that takes up no more space than a 27-inch display takes today. And so that's what we delivered with our um, mobile or the, the Z1 workstation. So you know, think about the workspace, that cluttered cubicle, or this engineers working side by side. Um, we really feel that the Z1 is going to redefine the workspace. So I think you'll see this in the experience zones later. Um, here you see a picture of uh, a dual 27-inch display, Jim's favorite setup. Uh, and this is something that, uh, you know, when we show this to customers, there's been a handful of trusted customers that we've, that we've shared this concept with. Um, this setup gets them excited. Um, the 27-inch display, our professional display, the ZR2740W, and the HP Z1 workstation share the exact same panel. Okay, it's an IPS panel with over a billion, dollar, uh, a billion colors. Um, it's got high resolution 2560 by 1440. It's got ultra wide viewing angles, ultra fast response times, white LED, uh, LED backlighting. So they share the exact same uh, panels, and so you're gonna get consistency across uh, both products. And of course, there's a display port output on the Z1, so you can extend your, your desktop to that second display uh, seamlessly. So when we talk to uh, customers about this, they get very excited. They, th they think getting the, the displays up off the desk and the workstation up off the desk, they've got this, this whole desktop space that they didn't have before. Uh, we talked to a couple of music production customers that we have about, and we showed this uh, to them, and, and they immediately thought about putting their, their keyboards and their mixing boards out right on, on the desk, because they could get the workstation up off the desk, and uh, that was exciting to them. Uh, we talked to a couple of our education accounts, and they were very excited about the ability of giving the desk space, space back to the students. You know, the students have their notebooks and they have their, their textbooks and they, they want to draw sketches of their projects as they're, as they're designing them. And so for higher education, um, 
this product will give them the ability to have nothing at their knees, nothing on the desktop, and deliver on the true workstation value proposition and give that desk space back to, uh, to the students. So truly redefining the workspace uh, without making any sort of compromises with the Visa mount arm uh, and the ability to Visa mount the new HPZ1. <laughs> now to my favorite feature, uh, the, the redefining all-in-one service ability. Uh, early on, you know, we've been thinking about this form factor for a long time now. And uh, we've, we've, in fact, for the last few years, we've been asking customers in our, in our different uh, sessions with them, what do you think of an all-in-one workstation? You know, all-in-one form factor, is that interesting? And to be honest, most customers uh, dismissed it as uninteresting. Uh, they dismissed it as uninteresting because they assume that there's going to be trade-offs. Well, it's not flexible enough for my environment. It, it, I'd have to, you know, it wouldn't be high enough performance for the applications that I need. Uh, the, the form factor trade-offs just wouldn't be worth it. And so we fed all that feedback, all, that com all those comments into the definition of the product. We're not going to make any compromises. We're going to deliver on that value proposition of a workstation. Um, and, and that's hard, right? Because if you look at the rest of our uh, tower workstation lineup, uh, the HPZ8 kind of sets the bar for uh, amazing workstation capabilities. And one of the, the, one of the key elements of that is the tool-free serviceability of the product. Um, and so that was one of the things we had to deliver on. And uh, but, but how do you do that in all in one? You know, how do you how do you make it serviceable? It's never been done before. Well, I'm, I'm uh, very proud of our uh, workstation engineers in Fort Collins, uh, and they really think it outdid themselves. They did a great job with the, the Z workstations back in 2009, and uh, I think that uh, they really outdid themselves with the, with the um, HPZ1 uh, today. So why is serviceability important? Why why would anybody care? Um, you know, we talk to our customers a lot, and they talk to us about the mission critical applications that Jim talked about, these, these folks cannot afford any sort of downtime. So while our systems are highly reliable, um, there are times when, when they need to go in and service the products, but there's also a situation where customers are reconfiguring the workstations project, project by project, especially like in the digital media and entertainment space, they might have kind of different uh, artists working on different projects at the time, and so they'll reconfigure systems. They've done it for, for years in the tower space, um, but they've never been able to do that in the, in the mobile space. Also, I'll tell you one story. We, we talked to uh, one of our uh, key education accounts um, here in the United States, and they talked about uh, uh, they, they have a mix of HP workstation towers, and then they have a, a competitor's uh, all in one in some of their labs because the space is so tight they needed to go with an all in one form factor. Now, they're, they're not native Windows, um, but they are running Windows on the, the platforms, um, but they represent a lot of challenges. These all in one form factors that are in their, in their labs. Uh, students will come in with CDs or DVDs with adhesive labels affixed to them. And when they insert those, they'll actually get jammed up in the optical drive. It's fairly common that they have an optical drive go out on one of their uh, other ones in their lab. And so uh, that means it's, it's rendered useless. They have to actually decommission that system, send it in for repair, because it's not something they can fix. Um, uh, when we showed this customer the HPZ1 and the ability that they could go in, unplug one cable, pull out the optical drive, uh, in a matter of seconds, uh, it just it stuck, and they were immediately sold on this um, this concept. And so, serviceability is important for a lot of reasons, uh, different for other people, uh, but reconfigurability and uh, redeployment for different purposes, as well as serviceability, are all key elements uh, to uh, the serviceability of our workstation products. And we had to bring that to the the, the um, HPZ one uh, to deliver on that value proposition. So let's talk about who we had in mind when we designed this. Um, if you look at the HPC1 customers, you know, Jeff had a long list of customers that we focus on, but we really wanted to maniacally focus on just a couple of customer segments as we developed the product. And so we really, first and foremost, thought about CAD, CAD environments. This is a huge opportunity, a huge part of our business. And we were thinking about the mechanical engineers that are, you know, in Asia working side by side and uh, having to work on heavy industrial equipment. Right? We looked at um, we thought about architects, and they've, they've got these stylish offices, um, so their clients come in, massive, but yet they've got real needs to have high performance, um, and so they want less clutter. And they've got blueprints and material samples that they're dealing with. So we thought about those architects. And of course, talk about structural civil engineers that are out on site in construction trailers. They've got the blueprints, and they've got tight uh, work environments, and that, that, that made us bridge um, a construction project. This is a perfect product they can take out on the field and, uh, and do real um, work in CAD and applications like Autodesk. You're getting a full performance, 
you're going to get um, certified reliability um, without compromise. Uh, and so the CAT customers were really kind of top of mind for us. Uh, right behind that, we really focused on media and entertainment. We think there's a huge opportunity with, uh, with professionals and enthusiasts that are um, doing video production. So we think about the commercial video producer that's working on uh, you know, the latest training video for their press uh, or for their sales force. Um, so that's something that um, is perfect for them. They get full performance uh, out of this course and is certified um, reliability. Photographers, think about the enthusiasts or professional photographers that are out there retouching their, uh, their photographs from the fashion show over the weekend. Um, this is a perfect product for them. Of course, uh, graphic artists that are out there doing uh, ad compositions for uh, at the advertising agency, they want beautiful systems, but they need high performance. And so, um, you know, any of these applications that they're, you know, part of the creative, Adobe's Creative Suite would be good examples of, of applications we had in mind as we were designing the HPZ1. And of course, higher education, I mentioned this a couple times, but higher education is a big opportunity for us. These engineers and these artists have to be trained somewhere, and uh, they're using the same applications, and they want the same performance, they want the same reliability, and talk about space constraint environments in these classroom labs. Um, the Z1 is perfect. So we really focused on these three areas, not to say that it's not going to be popular in other vertical segments, but these are the three areas that we're really focused on uh, through the development of this project. So again, the HPC1 workstation, uh, Jim mentioned this, um, this is a fully featured workstation. Okay, so uh, just like the rest of our tower workstations, we've got a choice of Xeon class processors, error correction code memory. Uh, these are the same components that we use in our desktop workstation, the same components that you find in servers that are delivering 24 by 7 operation with heavy workloads. So this is going to deliver the most reliable, most robust performance uh, for those applications. Of course, some videos here to come talk to you guys about professional 3D graphics, absolute key element of all of our workstations. Um, and we partnered with NVIDIA because they've got a nice line of uh, MXM technology that we can, um, we can introduce that delivers the GPU acceleration and application certification uh, for all the applications that our customers care deeply about. So professional graphics is a key uh, feature. Um, talked about the 27-inch display. Uh, performance storage is another thing. We caught it on stage this morning. Um, we've got support for either one 3.5-inch drive or two 2.5-inch drives. And so you can support RAID configurations with multiple hard drives. Of course, we support 10,000 RPM SATA drives as well as uh, SSD drives. Um, and so uh, from a hard drive perspective, you can get outstanding performance. Um, a couple, I've seen a couple demos where people have rated uh, two 300 gigabyte SSD drives. And the thing boots and shuts down uh, instantly, which really aids in uh, our demonstrations. Uh, but from a customer standpoint, it's, uh, it's out outstanding performance. Uh, the other storage piece I want to highlight is um, Blu-ray writer support. So we have DVD writer or Blu-ray writer support. So something you can't get on all of those Allen ones that are out there in the industry. Um, but we do have uh, support for uh, Blu-ray Blu slot load. And again, all the components are uh, you know, tool-free upgradeability. So if you need to add a hard drive later, you need to swap out an optical disk drive to do that. Um, uh, upgrade your graphics card throughout its life. Um, everything uh, can be done uh, tool-free. And I think one of the things that we really focused on is, uh, of course, our ISV certifications. Um, the partnerships that we have with our ISV partners, I think, is second to none. We invest a lot of time and energy and, uh, and focus on delivering um, reliability to our uh, customers through those partnerships. And we don't just send, send uh, our systems in for certification. We actually send uh, the systems with all the different configurations that customers may uh, come across so that we can certify not just that platform, but we're certified at the configuration level. Um, and, uh, and that's something that's really important to our customer because they can they can open open up the workstation, power up their, their application that they're working on, and rest assured that they're not going to run into any software issues. And if they do, they're going to be supported because it's a certified application. So first and foremost, it's a fully featured uh, workstation. Jim talked about ZDNA on stage. We talk about this a lot internally. Is what is what is ZDNA? Um, first of all, it's, it's the premium industrial design. And so we talk about authentic materials a lot in full columns. And, uh, and when we design our products, we want something that's, that's made out of metal to look like metal, something that's glass to look like glass, so a very, um, very authentic look and feel to it. And so if you look at the HPZ1, you know, we've got uh, you know, a flush glass uh, front, aluminum styling, and uh, we've really worked hard on keeping uh, the lines very clean and fair. So we can work with some of our partners to um, either get rid of stickers, or put them in, in colors that don't detract from the industrial design. 
We even have actually a, a pull-out tab on the side for the serial number and all the regulatory stickers that are mandatory um, in various regions. And so, again, the attention to detail that we focused here uh, to deliver a premium industrial design, something that I think is uh, going to serve this product very well in the future. Uh, whisper Quiet obviously is important to us, especially considering you've got a 400-watt power supply, all of the performance in there, and this thing is inches from your face. Right? So one of the things we were worried about early on is how do you, how do you keep that product quiet um, so that you can deliver uh, performance but not deliver lots of noise with that performance. Uh, we've got the quietest workstations in the industry on the tower side and we wanted to translate that to an all-in-one. And so when you see this, and, and I think you guys will, will get this in, in the teardown, you'll see there's cooling zones and lots of fans in there. Um, and not lots of fans to drive it fast, it's lots of fans to turn it slow. And slow means quiet. So lots of energy uh, focused, lots of investment on delivering Whisper Quiet uh, Z1. And then of course this, the tool-free uh, design and the chassis is something that, uh, again, it's common across uh, our workstations, even our mobile workstations. We wanted to carry that forward and that's really important to our customers. And I think, again, the engineers at Fort Collins did a fantastic job uh, delivering on the tool-free uh, design. That's my favorite part of the demo. We showed a handful of customers, and, and when you open up the workstation, um, their eyes light up because not only is it neat, but the fact that they can get inside and configure it is something that's absolutely uh, unique and uh, exciting to them. And Jim talked a little bit about this, but the commercial expect class experience is very important. We've seen some of our uh, commercial class customers, they, they need an all in one form factor, they need a 27 inch. Um, they might be deploying all in ones that aren't necessarily natively made to run in Windows or Linux environments. Uh, and so that's important to our customers. We know it's important. And so our products are designed, we're going to have a choice in Windows and Linux operating systems. We're going to support uh, you know, Windows 7 and, uh, and various uh, flavors of Linux for our customers. And that's going to be very important. Um, the easy to deploy and manage is an important element. So all of our tower workstations and our mobile workstations support Intel vPro technology for remote manageability. So if a customer is going to go and um, you know, send up a software update or make BIOS uh, updates, they can do that remotely on our desktop workstation. We want to take that same remote manageability capability and apply that to the mobile workstation. And so whether they're using wired or wireless LAN, they can manage that system uh, remotely. And easy to deploy, I have to tell you, we've spent a lot of time talking to customers about packaging. And uh, I know that's a riveting conversation to, to envision. Um, but we spend a lot of time focusing on how, how easy is this product to be pull out and deploy in your environment. And so we, we have a new uh, box style for this product. It's a pizza box type. If you want to picture a pizza box where you open it up, it actually unveils the product for them. They can lift it out. And uh, without you know, a lot of cables or plugs, they can, they can deploy the system in the environment. There's a hand integrated handle on the back so that they can, uh, they can carry it down the hall. And of course, it locks down into service mode, so it's, it's easy to move around, just like it is easy to move around with, say, a Z8. So we really wanted to focus on the deployment and manageability of our systems. A standard three-year warranty, just like the rest of our workstations. Um, this is something that, uh, again, not, all, not every all-in-one that's out there is, uh, a lot of them are standard one-year warranty. So this is a truly a commercial product with a three-year warranty. And of course, worldwide availability. We've got a lot of global accounts out there that they want to standardize on the product. And if it's not available in you know, Germany, then that's a problem. They can't take that product. And so, uh, you know, worldwide availability, all of our regional partners are going to be selling this um, uh, worldwide. And so, one of the other things that's not listed on the slide, but the commercial class um, experience is configure to order. We're going to be supporting custom configurations in this. And in fact, we think there's going to be a lot of uh, custom configurations sold as customers can tailor this and upgrade this. Um, buy accessories, buy upgrades, and, uh, and service this uh, in their environment. So, you know, fully featured workstation, Z workstation DNA, and uh, commercial class experience. And that's what we wanted to deliver, and I think that's what we did. Um, so, I know you guys have one burning question, and uh, that's uh, when can I get my hands on, on one, and what's it going to cost me? Uh, so, we're going to start shipping this product in April. And uh, again, that's a worldwide uh, date, so in uh, early April we'll be shipping uh, HP Z1. And the, the starting app price is going to be $18.99 US. So in the US, we'll start at uh, $1,899 for base configuration. And so if you, uh, if you consider other all-in-ones that are out there, that's a, we're very excited about being able to deliver this kind of value at that starting price. So uh, 
I have to just come back and say that this has been one of the most exciting projects that I've had. I've been with HP for about 12 years, and uh, most of those years here in the workstation business, and uh, this by far has been the most exciting project. Not just for me, it's been exciting for a lot of the folks, the folks in the lab, the folks in marketing and supply chain, all got excited about this product, and uh, we collected a few of them together, and, uh, and to help kind of tell the story of, of how we got there, um, we created a video, and so, uh, in closing, I'd like to just thank you for coming, and, uh, and please roll the video. The Z1 is the world's first 27-inch all-in-one professional workstation. The genesis of the Z1 started with customers. I think we got a winner. Our customers' work environments are getting smaller. This is what I saw in these panels. I walked into this room, and there were about 25 engineers on card tables. And on top of the card table was an HP Z200 workstation tower, 24-inch display, keyboard, mice, cables, and they were they were elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder. That hit me. All right, here it is. We have this idea. It's going to be a workstation. It's going to be an all-in-one. It's going to be a professional display, professional graphics. How are we going to do that? You know, we have a lot of experience in workstation design, uh, but there are many things that we really, to be honest, didn't know how to do. In designing an all-in-one workstation, there are a number of real serious technical issues that we had to resolve. The biggest one was figuring out a way to allow users access to the inside. One of the elements of ZDNA was being able to open that lid up and get in there and service it all. The next was designing a stand that could position the system, and then the third was fitting all that computer into a 27-inch monitor space. The HP Z1 incorporates a wide LED backlit display, which displays over a billion colors, and it's viewable from all the way up to a 178-degree viewing angle. The Z1 workstation has Xeon-class processors. It's got NVIDIA-class professional graphics, ECC memory. We support a single 3.5-inch drive, which is large, and we also support dual. Uh, 10K drives, which are really high performance. We needed to make sure that we could put enough airflow over the 10K dual drives. How are we keep this thing cool? Because we've got 40 watts of power inside this box. One way to get rid of heat is to put fans inside the system to cool it. Those fans create high levels of noise. You want to turn down the fans. One way we've done that on the Z1 is to have uh, uh, mini sensors for temperatures. We've become renowned for having workstations that are extremely quiet. The whisper quiet is around 20 decibels. When you look at the product, you say, this is very sleek and very slim, yet the product itself has all the performance of a workstation class product. As we look at our HP workstation lineup, one of the things we've led the industry in is the toolless design. Toolless design means that in order to repair or upgrade most components inside the Z1 workstation, you do not need to have any tools. Plain and simple. You can pop the hood, change the graphics card, upgrade the memory, swap out the hard drives. We invest with our ISP partners to certify that there's a performance experience on a workstation. So when you buy an HP workstation, you're getting an experience that's certified to work with the applications you need. We've implemented SRS Premium Sound. What we believe is that the sound quality of this workstation exceeds that of other all-in-ones that are currently out on the market. We've also added a lot of capability to connect external devices. Things such as USB 3, digital audio out, media card reader. We also have a full high-definition webcam and then a microphone array on the front of the system. What makes it special is what we like to refer to as ZDNA. It's this fundamental fabric that exists in our products that includes this concept of reliability and serviceability. The HP Z1 really uh, encapsulates the spirit and the mission of HP workstations. It's that performance and then the reliability falls under that. The elegance is, is really key with the HP Z1. They actually have a shock absorber that when you close it, it closes real fast, but for the last 10 millimeters, it closes real slow. It's beautiful. It's going to provide users 
you know, unparalleled accessibility in an all-in-one, unparalleled uh, compactness in the workstation. It's going to be one of the best displays available out there, and frankly, it's going to be the best looking workstation we've put together yet.
a billion years ago. I like to think Other questions? Yes, two questions here from um, IT16A China. Uh, one question is, uh, why are you using mobile version of the Graphica from NVIDIA? The second question is the uh, hard, hard drive configuration you are using WD Rector, that's what I'm assuming. Have you considered using hybrid hard, hard drive? Yeah, so, uh, so the first question around the, the graphics, uh, we looked at PCI, uh, PCI Express, standard PCI Express graphics, uh, but what we found is we needed uh, to keep the system quiet and cool. Uh, we needed to actually go with the mobile technology because it's designed to be, uh, be more power efficient. And so we uh, decided that that was the best solution for this uh, class of form factor. Um, and then uh, the second part of your question, hybrid, hybrid drives. So that's something that we've considered. Uh, we continue to gather customer feedback on, on hybrid drives. It's not something that we currently offer on any of our workstations today, but it's something we'll continue to consider um, based on customer uh, demand. We, we do offer uh, a portfolio of SSD drives. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to wrap it up. One more question, Jim. What's the base CPU, the CPU and the gamut of CPUs available in it? So the base unit is a Core i3. Um, can you help me with the model? What was that? 2120. Yeah, Core i3 2120 is the is the base um, CPU model. And then we'll have a choice of three Xeon uh, processors as well. And that'll all be on the data sheet. You do have a USB key branded with Z1. All this information is on there, including all the videos, the tech data sheets, everything that you wanted to know uh, about the product. So, and if we can bring up the uh, agenda slide again, guys, we're gonna have more time for Q and A, um, certainly after the breakout sessions and the experience zones. So, no problem answering any questions. Thanks to you, Josh. Uh, Mike Deal, just stand up with wave. wave. Mike Deal is our product manager for the Z1. Let's give him a round of applause.